Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on this RX100. You know, I have owned this RX100 since 2009. Um, before that, it was with my cousin brother who has, you know, taken this across the country. So basically, this bike was in the family for its entire life. You know, though I have done multiple restorations on this bike uh, right from the time I got it. And plus, my brother has also done a couple of restorations in its life. There was one thing which was never addressed by him or me, and that was the bend in the T-stem. So we basically um, really got accustomed to the bend and we were not really you know paying much attention to that and we were not really interested in fixing that either um, what happened is when I did the last uh, RX100 review video at that time I really thought you know why do we need to keep it like that especially when I have multiple T stems with me you know there, there is no point of uh, actually keeping it like that so I thought I would go ahead and replace it and that thought has been crossing my mind all over since last two three weeks so first of all the biggest challenge that i have is lack of time because you know this is the time when appraisals happen this is the time when major projects um, you know start or close so i have been working in multiple projects at work where you know some of them has just recently started but at the same time um, some of those projects are coming to an end both of these projects basically uh, need full of my attention and because of that i'm not able to focus at my garage much so we'll talk about the green thing later in a different video so this is something which is not about this as of now we'll talk about the rx100 let's go ahead and put this on the center stand take off the wheel take off the forks and then you know replace the t stem so i already have the stem with me which is going to be replaced i also put a concert brand new concert on this installation of this was not something that is very complicated so i'm not going to go into that we will in the future or especially when we are doing the shaolin restoration we will talk about the uh, or how you know those cone and balls are installed so this is just going to cover me replacing this and seeing if that fixes the problem to be honest i do not know whether it's a bend in the t stem or the top triple t the chances of it being the triple t is pretty low um, but then there is a chance i'm not completely denying that so what we are going to do now is we are going to replace the t stem first and then see if that fixes our problem if it doesn't fix our problem then obviously we will go ahead and replace the triple t as well which is not as complicated as replacing the t stem so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the bike on the center stand and then we are going to start the work
So finally, after 10 years, we have fixed the issue with the handle and the teeth. Though it's not 100% fixed, I would say it is around 95-96% fixed. There is a small bend in the whole triple T as well. So I have to replace that as well. So I don't have the energy today to fix that. Though it won't take much time, it's just two bolts, two plus two, four bolts that I have to remove to get this off. But you know, I have to fix the meter as well. So this is going to be 30-45 minutes job, which I don't have the energy for right. So I hope you like this video. So. I uh, we have really reached the first stage of this channel. We are very close to 10,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, YouTube algorithm will actually promote this video and we'll reach that 10,000 mile pretty quick. Also do share it with your friends and also subscribe if you're not already subscribed that we reach the goal pretty fast. I have a lot of plans for this channel. There are a lot of new things that I have planned. Plus I've also planned to create a separate English channel so that you guys don't have to worry about whatever comes in Malayalam first. So that is going to happen. But first I wanted to grow one channel to a substantial number, then pivot to another one. So I hope you understand that and you enjoy all the videos that we do. Um, so yeah, that's it from me today. I'm going to take this for a ride now just to see if everything is fixed. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.